Hey everybody, it's James Ferrer from AppMaker University, where we believe you can make apps. And to make that even easier, we've created a library full of very useful functions that don't come packaged in AppMaker. So, for instance, if you want to do something like export your data to a spreadsheet, we've turned that from hundreds of lines of code that you would have to learn how to write into just one command that you can issue right there on the button. So I'm going to show you how to install the libraries today, and then we're going to follow up with a bunch more videos that show you how to do the actual uh, use of the library and all of its different functions. So I think you're going to have a great time, and we'll see you online. Follow the short link at the bottom of the screen, which will take you to this app script that will allow you to access both the server and client libraries. So we'll start with the client library here. So just click on that to open it up, and we'll go ahead and just copy the whole thing. And we want to make sure that we are copying the client library here. And then we're going to switch over to our AppMaker project. We're going to create a new script. So we just hit the plus key on scripts. We want to make sure it's a client script. We'll click create. You can rename this script AMU client. And we'll go ahead and just paste that code right in here. We want to make sure that this is AMU client matches the AMU client script. Now we can switch over to the app script and also copy the server code. We're going to create another script. This time we want to make sure it's a server script. And we'll paste the code in there and let's just rename this one AMU server so we know which one is which. Again, let's verify that we did indeed copy the server script into the server script. All right, let's take a look at how it works. So when we click on a custom action, we can type AMU and then we'll see all the functions that are available in the library. This is of course going to grow and some of them have more functions within them. You'll also see that it gives you the instructions of what it wants as far as the parameters. We'll be doing a lot more videos on how each of these methods works so that you get a real in-depth look of how you're going to use these in your actual apps. But today we're just showing you how to install the library and I hope that's uh, going to be a big help to you and it's going to shortcut a lot of the things that you would be normally writing code for is just a single command with using the AMU library. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out all our videos at appmakeruniversity.com where we believe you can build apps.